Hello, my name is Nate. Welcome to my Fluid Art channel. I am working on a larger canvas today. This is 24 by 24 inches, kind of my favorite size. I also really like the 24 by 36s, but uh, this is a great size to, to uh, canvas for me to work on. I don't like little canvases. Go big or go home. <laughs> um, I am using up some leftover paints today. I have Amsterdam uh, turquoise blue, greenish blue, I have uh, vermilion, which is a very reddish orange, and um, primary yellow, and then I have a, one Liquitex Basics deep violet color. It's kind of a rainbow, um, missing the green, but um, I think I might end up with some green depending on how I layer my colors. And I'm going to do an open cut pour today. I was looking at my channel and I realized I've never done one on my channel, and I used to do these all the time. So um, before I do anything else, let me show you my consistency of my paints. This is the turquoise blue color, and you'll see that uh, it does leave a, a mound on a mound, it disappears fairly quickly. So this is a, kind of a medium to thin consistency on the paints. All of my paints are mixed three parts flow trawl to one part paint and I did not add any water to any of this. My base coat is Amsterdam Titanium White and I'm going to go ahead and flood my canvas and then um, I will put this, I've just taken a, a plastic cup and um, cut the bottom part off so that I have just the, the lip part. Um, so I'm going to do flood my canvas, put in a little puddle here. Um, and then layer my colors one at a time and uh, put a little bit of white in between each one. That should prevent, I want to see each of the colors, but I should still get some blending as well. So that's why I think once these two go into the open cup together, I will end up with some green. So that's what we're going to do and I will get started.
Is yet to come. Too many times has come to pass. Too many moments put aside. Getting out alive. Getting out alive. Writing letters in the sand.
So here is the wet result of my rainbow open cup pour. I really like it. I love the fact that you can see each individual color. Um, I like that the white softens some of the colors. Uh, I love that it kind of runs in bands uh, from corner to corner with the violet and then kind of goes uh, lighter this way and darker this way. I think it's very cool. I like it a lot. Uh, and uh, I'll take you in for some details. This is the part, you see these cells right here, this is the part where I started my swipe. I could have tilted that off a little bit more, but I liked having the balance of the turquoise on both ends. Um, definitely some yellow, but also definitely some green in here. So I have the full rainbow. The, uh, the violet and the orange always make interesting colors when they blend together, but I love that there's some yellow and blue cells coming up through it also. Yeah, this area up here, I think looks a little muddy. I was using the white as a separation layer to try and keep that from happening, but I probably a little inevitable. <laughs> but look at all of these cells, really great. No silicone whatsoever in these paints. This effect is created solely because of the different densities of the paints. Titanium white is the most dense color. Uh, it has the most weight, so it wants to sink. So when you put these colors underneath the white using the open cup, when they come out underneath the white, the white sinks and the other colors rise as cells. So that's why this works. I think it's very cool. I should probably do more of these more often. <laughs> um, some of my friends uh, do them. Brian Siglarsi does amazing open cups um, on Brian's Upper Valley Artistry. Britta Clayton does amazing ones. Uh, Sarah Mack, uh, Mina Villegas, uh, Kelly with Feral Arts. So, so many of my friends do these techniques and I, for some reason, I just kind of forgot about it. So I'm glad I went back to it and went back to one of my basics. I really like it. I hope you like it too. So stay tuned for the dry results. So here are the mostly dry results. It's still a little unsure. I'm not sure if I can get the, the shine on it here, but there's still a little wet here in the middle, but I'm still super happy with this. I think it's really cool the way it kind of scallops out. Um, I love that there's blue on one side and blue in this corner, so it gives it some balance. Um, but I also think this might make a better background for something else. It kind of reminds me of a coral reef. So I have an idea or a couple of ideas of uh, ways that I'm going to embellish this. But I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you learned something. And uh, give me a thumbs up if you liked it. And subscribe if you'd like to see more. And come back and see me sometime.